What's up, everybody? How's it going out there? Here's a, just want to make a little short video. Uh, hopefully to help somebody out. This one's going to be on uh, what they call Fart Rock, Stink Block, uh, the technical name for it. Uh, they use it for pipe insulation. Uh, it's foam glass. Um, and this stuff, it's terrible to breathe. It's not good for you. Uh, so you always have to wear proper equipment. Uh, I recommend safety glasses too, because if you got fans blowing, the stuff gets in your eyes. It will irritate it. Could cause damage if you get it in the right spot, I guess. Uh, to start off, kind of show you where I'm at on this. Uh, this side, I just long blocked it with some 180 just to kind of show you that I didn't even really burn through and I went, I went, you know, to town on it pretty good. Um, you know, I'll try to take this off so I can show you guys a little bit better here, but. So this side, you can see this is just 180 with a sweat board and it's nothing fancy. This side, I actually hit it with the, uh, with the fart rock stink block and it actually cuts the highs where they are and it'll cut it in either direction so like if you're blocking in 45s or 130 degree angles long blocking you know this way then it will cut these lumps out of your filler i use it before i prime and i use it after i prime because it'll cut out stuff that you can't feel um in certain areas and this stuff really really takes a good shape to whatever you're sanding on so if you wanted to get it a certain shape you could take this stuff and sand it on the concrete you know to kind of round the corners off real easy uh if it loses its flatness you can put it on the concrete and you know drag it back and forth and it'll get it true and flat again i use hacksaw blades to cut it in different lengths that i want um, I mean, it's, it's really, really good stuff. So basically on bigger vehicles, uh, like this is a, a 60s, 66 Lincoln, uh, they have some other, um, uh, you know, uses for this stuff, but my main use is for this. So all your body work that you're doing on these cars, you're doing multiple wipes and from where you're stopping on one wipe and you're starting on another, where those transitions are, this will cut those transitions out and make it flat. Um, you can use it on motorcycle gas tanks. It will take the exact curve of the motorcycle gas tank. Like if you skim the whole uh, motorcycle gas tank with filler, um, it works really, really well with that. Uh, I mean, I do have many different Santa blocks or different uses with different flexibility uh, and different lengths. Uh, but this, this stuff, is it's really good for this. Uh, it cuts fast. The grit of it, it's, a, you know, a little bit more than 180, a little rougher. Um, but, man, you use that first and then come back with some 180 and hit it with a prime. And it's really, really good. Uh, and it'll just get spots where, like, you keep blocking and blocking and feeling and it, it's not get cutting the lumps or the waves out. This stuff will only cut... The high spots it won't cut like when you sand them on a block and you're saying like let's say you sand in this area and it's high well then it starts sanding next to it next thing you know you got a low spot this thing it'll cut all the way through i mean you can see right here what it did they had a little bit of a low here and it just it went through and just cut all the way down and then you can see where it burned through with not a whole lot of effort you know um so I'm gonna just show you real quick so we still got some time left on this video. Apologize if you can't hear me too well. Uh, I'm gonna put my my mask on here, which are hard to find nowadays. And I'm gonna show you on this one how it works for me. I'll try to give you guys the best angle that I can. Let's see here, hold on a second. Just the weather's kind of bad today, otherwise I'd have the door open. But let me show you. All right, so. And see like this has a rounded corner, so I want it more rounded, I could just. 
do a little twist on the ground and it'll give it a nice, nice curve. Keeps it nice and straight. And you can go straight on with it like this. And it won't like saw into your body work and just sort it. And you just go at all angles. And keep sanding until you start seeing them spots pop up. You just want to uniformly block the whole area down. But as so many people are unfamiliar with this stuff, most body shops won't even, especially corporations, won't even allow you to have this stuff because it's bad for you. But if you get some body work and you get in the jam and it's, it's just not working, you can't get to whatever you're trying to, you know, you know, get whatever contour you're trying to get, it's not cooperating. Man, this stuff was, it really cuts your time down. So some areas are just too hard to use a block. So this stuff, you can just roll it. And it's kind of better always to use two hands, but sometimes I don't. So when you pull it off, if your block isn't looking flat, then you're not holding even pressure on it. That's another trick. You gotta have even pressure. If you pull it off a flat, semi-flat surface and it looks like a canoe, then you're doing it wrong. And I keep all my little scrap pieces. I got a whole pile of all these little broken pieces because if you drop it, it'll break. But sometimes you need, uh, you need some smaller pieces for smaller areas. Like I could block this all the way to this curve, but then I'll have to stop and I'll get another one and I'll blend that in with some fart rock on, on that contour. So see the blocking this with a long block, it seems like it's pretty straight, it's pretty flat. There's not really any, any waves in it. But when you stand this thing, you can actually feel the waves through this. You can feel them when you, when you stand it. It'll cut lumps out from going sideways like this. I usually do it like a 45 this way. I do a 45 going this way. Up to like 130. So some of these longer panels, you'll actually chop the body work off if you do straight 45 or something. Because the panels are so long. And this part are really, the panels are really, really thin. Apologize if it's loud in here with this stuff, but it's pretty scratchy stuff. CNC spots. these cars or any of these like Fords with the four foot long doors, galaxies, and you sand them down, get the, do your mud work, get it close, like, like 80, right before you go to use some 180, you could use this, cut some lumps and then come back with some 180. And man, it just, it makes it all the transitions in the body work just so much nicer. It's definitely an old school way to do it, but I mean, without spending a thousand dollars on sanding blocks, 
This will definitely uh, save you some money. It'll save you some time. And it'll save your customers some time. Well, not your customers time, but it'll save your customers some money. Because it gets super labor intensive doing these cars. Those the ones that are going black. And they gotta be right. And if you sand too much in one spot with these things, it, it's really not gonna do a whole lot of damage. It, it cuts everything down evenly, but mainly only cuts the high spots and just floats over the low spots. It doesn't, it keeps its rigidity because it doesn't bend at all. Matter of fact, if you take this stuff, I'll show you how brittle it is, but boom, so it just snaps right in half, you know? And you can use these blocks for something else. You know, if you got some small areas, you got to do whatever. But I got so much of this stuff. I'll buy a big old thing of it for like, I don't know, it's like $250. But it lasts me five, six years. I mean, I don't use it all the time. But I do use it on, on every car that I do that's, you know, on the large side. Uh, yeah, you can see here, this is, you know, after they did, did some pretty serious blocking just with the fart rock. And you can see how I cut down these areas, some of these little small lumps or high spots um, on here. I mean, this is just the first, first prime. Um, pretty good primer though. It's uh, that RM. 25 or 26 RMP 27 I think it is this black primer pretty good stuff I love it man a little on the expensive side but it works good and you I mean, don't want to use cheap stuff anyway but and you can see this side the same thing so got a few spots I might put a little putty in you know up in here and a little small spots but yeah for the most part you know start popping my tape lines so I can block to those lines. Gives me a nice crisp lines to go off of. 